fantastic investment opportunity here in Indianapolis, 5134 E 20th Street. This is a two-bedroom, one-bath single-family residence with a total of 1,536 square feet of living space. Built in 1952, this home has some great bones and with a bit of work, it can generate excellent returns. Now, one of the key highlights of this property is that it's already vacant. It's ready for immediate updates, making it a quick turnaround for either a flip or a long-term rental. So, let's dive into the specifics and talk about what makes this property such a valuable deal. Property features and rehab details. The good news is that it's structurally sound, but it could benefit from some cosmetic updates to really boost its market value. We're estimating around $10,000 in rehab costs for improvements like new flooring. This is a relatively light rehab for a property of this size, so that means a faster turnaround. Given its location in a growing area and its spacious layout, plus, the property includes a large yard and driveway space, which adds even more appeal to future tenants or buyers. Financial breakdown. We're looking at an asking price of $115,000. That means there's around $75,000 in potential equity right there. Now, let's consider the rental potential. Based on similar properties in the area, this home could easily rent for about $1,250 per month. Given that there are two bedrooms and one bathroom, that's a competitive rate for a rental in this neighborhood. So, if we break it down, that's $1,250 a month, multiplied by 12 months, simple math. Now, let's account for the expenses. Typically, operating expenses like property management, maintenance, taxes, in this case, we estimate around $4,500 in annual expenses. That leaves you with a net operating income NOI of $10,500 per year. This NOI is a key figure for understanding your return on investment. Next, let's calculate the cap rate. This is a crucial metric for investors. The cap rate is your NOI divided by the purchase price. In this case, we take the NOI of $10,500 and divide it by the asking price of $115,000 giving us a cap rate of about 9.1%. Now, why is that important? A higher cap rate means you're getting a better return for the price you're paying. That's higher than average for this market, and it tells you this property is poised to generate strong cash flow. Strategy and bonus features. If you're looking at this as a flip, the potential equity of $75,000 post, post rehab speaks for itself. With a light rehab of around $10,000, the vacancy also makes it a quicker turnaround, since there's no tenant relocation needed. On the other hand, if you're more of a buy-on-hold investor, the rental potential is solid. Not only do you have a 9.1% cap rate, plus, because it's a single-family home, conclusion. Whether you're planning to flip for a quick profit or hold it as a rental with solid cash flow, the high cap rate, the potential equity, and the minimal rehab costs all add up to an amazing investment. If you're interested in learning more or scheduling a walkthrough, reach out. This kind of opportunity doesn't stay on the market for long.